fairs are becoming a hallmark of the city, what with celebrations in the various ethnic neighborhoods, festivals in honor of legends, carnivals in memory of old-time gaiety. And one of the mainstays of the San Francisco fairs is the one on Polk Gulch. Aside from the numbers of people and celebrants present or participating in the affairs, most street festivals become a so-called San Francisco tradition when they either receive the endorsement of the Tourist Bureau or the assistance of a full-fledged public relations outfit. The Polk Gulch Gala had all the ingredients of success. A sea of people, dressed in clothes and complexion more colorful than a galaxy of stars. And innumerable booths, stands, and exhibits to whet the appetite of any vicarious thrill-seeker, straight or hip. The displays were not particularly unusual if the spectator has been through a half-dozen street fairs in the city during the past year. The Polk Gulch Gala is sponsored by the Merchants of Polk Street, they have a chance to draw and entice throngs of potential consumers and certify their goodwill. At times, people paraded and pranced and prodded their way through the crowds as if they too were on display like merchandise. The people weren't exhibitionists, but they certainly liked to look at others, to engage in people watching. The festival was open to most everyone, even the city's street artists who had had trouble selling their wares in public places before shared the umbrella of legitimacy. Since this is supposed to be one of the biggest fairs in San Francisco, the promoters provided what they insist was a mod fashion show. And with the clincher in the formula was the rock band. Christopher Chow, Eyewitness News, San Francisco.